This number does absolutely nothing. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. What does that mean? You will find this line of code everywhere. A quick search of GitHub finds over 450,000 examples. I discovered this while testing my new boards from PCBWay, and despite a small mistake on my part, they nailed the build completely. Everything works beautifully. But I needed to transfer a lot of data over serial, and I thought maybe I should bump up the board rate. We can go from a very snail's pace, 9,600 bits per second, through the classic 56k that I'm sure a lot of you remember, all the way up to number 11, with 921600, which gives you a smashing 115 kilobytes per second. The numbers all go to 11. But here's the catch. The ESP32 S3 doesn't have a USB to UART chip. It has native USB. So, if there's no UART clock, what does this board rate actually do? So, I tested it. Different board rates, and every single one worked flawlessly. I first tried it out using the serial monitor. The firmware is set to 115200, the classic setting, and the monitor is set to the same rate. And as you'd expect, it works without any issues. The firmware just echoes a capitalized version of what it receives. Then I tried changing the monitor speed to 9600, and it still works perfectly. What's going on? To really test it, I wrote a script. It enumerates a whole bunch of board rates, and as you can see, they all work perfectly. The board rate number does nothing. So if board rate doesn't matter, how fast can we actually go? Well, USB full speed runs at 12 megabits per second, with overhead, the maximum we should be able to get should be around 9.6 megabits per second. So I wrote some new firmware that just blasts out a 4 megabyte packet, and I wrote a simple script on my computer that receives the data and tests the speed. Just to make sure that no one's cheating, I included a CRC check. The result? For my Arduino version of the code, we get over 7 megabits per second. That's nearly 1 megabyte a second. For you IDF fans, I tried the same with tiny USB, and I got 5 megabits per second. Surprisingly, not as fast. But there is a hope for you IDF fanboys, it is being worked on, there are some issues on the tiny USB implementation. Now of course, this is just test code. Real applications may be slower. But here's the takeaway. With versions of the USB 32 with native USB, board rate doesn't matter. With older chips that do use USB to UART bridges, you're stuck with the UART limits. I put all my test code on GitHub, there's a link below. Try it out yourselves and let me know what speeds you get in the comments. And if this surprised you, hit the like and subscribe. I've got more ESP32 deep dives coming soon.